We're here at the 2023 Montpelier Independence Day Parade. Can we say 4th of July? Couldn't be more excited. Um, the, oh, here they come. It's going to be a lot of floats today. Oh, because of the race. Okay, here we go. Watch out. Hot dog. They're coming. These bikers bike in the name of our state. The runners. And, oh, runner, yeah. and runners run. And runners will run. How about that? Hey, there's Tagger. There he goes. Oh, yeah. We got Orca Media Zone. Taggart. Runners, runners got to run. Orca Media Zone who? Tagger. Tagger. I forgot yeah. Tagger runs. He's a, he's a runner. Yeah. Wow. Wow. Look at those babies. Look at those toddlers go. What? Super dad. Super dad over here. We're live on YouTube. Good job, everyone. Oh, yeah. Now, this is the community spirit. Everybody's just going to get together. and Everybody's just going to get together. Some are going to run. Some are going to cheer. Yeah. That's what it's all about. We're on both sides of the... All right. We're on both sides of it. It's exciting. There's a lot of kids. A lot of kids. Look at all the kids. Woo! Yeah, wow. Kids. Look at oh, that yeah. kid go. Come on. Dude, some of these kids are... They look passionate. That's tough. That's tough. I am your host, Christopher Viersma, co-director with Orca Media, your local community media center in Montpelier, Vermont. I'm joined with Rowan, our co-host. Hello. Um, I'm just happy to be here at the 2023 Montpelier Independence Day Parade, and we're going to see what we can see. Yeah, the marathon runners are finishing it up. This is super exciting. We even have some of our own staff running. Hi, Taggart. Wow. Great to see everybody they run. They're coming back around. It looks like a lap. This is great. This is great. So it's a little drizzly, a little rainy, but uh, here we are under the tents. And uh, we are once again live from the July 3rd Independence Day Parade. We're Orca Media, your community media center in Montpelier. Um, we are live on channel 1075 and at orcamedia.net. Very exciting. What else is exciting? Um, what else is exciting? Everybody, everybody comes out here today. This is the most people you'll ever see. This is great. Downtown, it's such a such a large gathering. For real, I, it looks like people are coming from all over, and um, it's just a great thing to see in our capital. Wow, here they come, here they come. And the weather's not stopping anybody. No, look at these kids not running a bit. in the rain. Oh yeah. All right, this is Orca Media coming to you live, channel 1075. And at orcamedia.net. Orca hey, don't forget net. to follow us on social media at Orca Media on Instagram, Facebook, and Twitter. Yeah. We've even joined TikTok for all of you TikTokers at Orca Media. There you on TikTok. TikTok with us on Orca Media yeah. at TikTok. <laughs> 
Hey, so uh, we are going to say hi to our special guest in just a second here. Just a second. There's a lot of cheering happening, so it's nice and loud. All right, we're going to say hi to Larry. All right. Hi, my name is uh, hey, Lawrence Seiler, host and executive producer of Able Den On Air uh, at www.orcamedia.net. I am so happy today uh, to be here uh, during the July 3rd parade. Um, and uh, the reason why I'm here is to pr promote um, Able Den On Air. Able, uh, Able Den On Air is a program uh, near and dear to our hearts here in Montpelier, Vermont. Um, my wife and I, uh, my wife and I, uh, uh, my wife Arlene and I uh, produce uh, the program, and, and it is the program that focuses on the needs, concerns, and achievements of the differently abled. There are so many people in Montpelier, Vermont, with uh, special abilities. Uh, not, we don't focus on the disability per se. Um, uh, we've uh, interviewed everyone from uh, Washington County Mental Health to many other organizations that uh, deal with uh, special abilities in Montpelier and beyond. That's great. Do you want to, uh, and how long have you been doing your show, Larry? We've been doing uh, the show, my wife and I have been doing the show since uh, 2015 in Montpelier, Vermont, but uh, I've been a journalist in this area for about 30 plus years. Wow. Um, and uh, it's extremely important to focus on uh, people um, that have done ex extraordinary things from doctors to clinicians. I mean, uh, news only get, you know, uh, you only get two or three minutes uh, per story, but we do an entire show that focuses yeah. on this topic. Absolutely. Um, if you haven't seen Larry's show, you should definitely check it out. There's stories that you won't hear elsewhere, and uh, it's a it's a great show. Mm -hmm. It's fun to watch. And um, for those that don't know, uh, we are. Um, co-sponsored and uh, we um, are co-sponsored by Washington County Mental Health uh, here in uh, Montpelier, Vermont as well as many other organizations um, including the help from Orca Media who has done a fantab uh, fantabulous fantastic job um, helping us with our show and um, public access and peg access um, for many years has been pretty much on the chopping block, but it's extremely important to keep peg access and public access alive because without those uh, uh, programs um, on Orca Media, everything from parades to um, medical shows to political shows, it's just extremely important to keep uh, public access alive. Absolutely. And, hey, Larry, what are what are some of your favorite highlights or uh, special guests that you've had over the years? Who are some of your favorites? Um, some of our favorites. Well, uh, we recently um, had. We recently, you know, like I had said, we've had Washington County Mental Health. We've had a Green Mountain Support Services. We've had, um, m most recently, which is airing now, um, we've had um, an agency called WayToMyHeart.org. Uh, they're an agency that deals with amputations and the importance of uh, diabetes health. We've had them on, um, but um, we've had uh, Higher Ability Vermont in years past, which is an agency that deals with um, it deals with employment and people with special needs. Employment and uh, employment for people with special needs is so important in Vermont, especially now. Everybody needs a job. Yeah. You know, despite your challenge. Absolutely. Um, we've had um, doctors, we've had clinicians, we've had politicians. Uh, most recently, um, it hasn't aired yet, but we've had Senator Ann Watson. Uh, she's former former mayor of. Um, uh, Montpelier, Vermont, and who's also a school teacher. Uh, and um, last year we've had um, topics such as um, food insecurity, 
which is extremely important, especially for school kids uh, needing proper nutrition in school. Um, so many, so many topics. Um, but the, the biggest topic that's so important uh, in Montpelier, Vermont right now is, um, well, now that the pandemic is over, uh, we focused on that, by the way, uh, for the past two years, um, you know, medical and the pandemic, and how the pandemic has dealt with uh, people with special needs, but the m more important right now is people getting back to work, and uh, people just uh, enjoying especially events like this, because without Orca Media um, and without people's support in uh, the community, um, Orca Media would not exist. Hey, thanks for joining us, Larry. Thank you, Larry. Ableton On Air on Orca Media. Ableton On Air, only on channel 1075, www.orcamedia.net. Woo! Thanks, Larry. Thanks for coming by. Thank you, Larry. All right, all right. So here we are. We're uh, getting ready for our first uh, parade Thank floats. You. Do you see anybody coming? Um, from where I'm sitting, I can't. I can I can hear the Ooh. the crowd is anticipating it. The hum. Yeah. Oh, that, okay. Look at here's our view. All right. So it sounds like we're expecting the oh, governor they're coming from Scott. this direction. This way. Or this way. That's right. They're coming from. <laughs> No one yet, no one yet. No one yet. It's okay, you know, look at the crowd is really building up. Let's see, what kind of, we got everyone out here today. We you know, really we do. Got, everyone's prepared for the rain. Some people aren't, it's not bothering them. No, that's okay. Um, seems like everybody's scrambling for their, for their spot. Everybody wants a good view. Yeah. I'm personally excited to see the all things LGBTQ float. Oh, that's right. That's another is, Orca um, Media show. One of our own shows at Orca Media, and they're just great. And I'm excited to see what they what they put on their float. They're they're here. They've been here for the past couple of years. It's it's been fun to see them here. Yeah. I don't know if I've seen it. All together now always has a nice one with their their big birds. I went to the to the summer to the all together now summer camps when I was oh, yeah? a kid. A lot of okay. them, yeah. All right, it's great. Did you do uh, paper mache? Yeah, I made a, a guinea pig, a helmet of a guinea pig out of paper mache. Do you still have it? Yeah. Oh, we should have wore it. It's in my closet. We could have wore it today. Hey, look at we got some TV uh, guest stars <laughs> popping in. That's always some fun. Photo bombers, photo crasher. Anybody, photo anybody want crasher. to do an interview? They can sit down. We got the mic ready. Okay. Yeah, I mean, we could we could take another interview. We could take another interview. Maybe some kids. Or try to wave wanna, somebody yeah, over. Maybe a, a, a kid wants to say hi. We'll see. Like, I see some of my neighbors down the way. We could interview them. Oh, and we almost forgot to mention Montpelier Live. Montpelier Live, uh, Montpelier Live. puts on this wonderful organ. Uh, Celebration. Uh, Montpelier Alive is our downtown uh, nonprofit association that you know celebrates Montpelier and does all kinds of fun and exciting things. But I think this is like their this is the heart of the organization, putting on this huge parade. They celebration. they yeah. do so much. Every every time you see a community event that's right. free and anywhere downtown, you probably find that it's put on by Montpelier Live. It's Montpelier Live. And they've uh, recently installed some M's around town. Have you seen the ah, M's? Ah, I've the seen city? the M's. Is yeah. that Montpelier new, Live as well? New benches, I saw those. The M's from, uh, from Montpelier. That's awesome. Uh, they do, you know, they manage all the public art. Okay, here's the runners finishing it up now. Oh, the runners are now walking. The runners are walking. <laughs> Have you ever ran a marathon? I've never, I never ran a band. Oh, never ran a no, 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 no. I don't know if I, I don't know if I'm related to anyone who's ran a marathon. Oh, you don't even know if you're I don't related. Know, I don't know about right. that. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I would run a marathon. Yeah. They make it look fun out here on the Fourth of July. Oh, Everyone's and cheering. Also, I forgot to mention. Uh, you know who else is playing? Chad Hollister is playing at the State House, or did play at uh, four o'clock. That's a big concert. I know there was a concert on Langdon Street. 
So, um, will that be on orcamedia.net? That will be, yeah. We covered, uh, we had one of our camera operators covering the concert at the State House, so we'll be broadcasting that. It'll be available online at orcamedia.net and, of course, on YouTube. Orcamedia.net. Yeah, what, um, did you go down to the State House? Did you see all the food I went trucks? down to the State House. I saw the food trucks. Looks really good. People are lined up yeah. out there. Um, it's good nice food. and crowded. The food is good, yes. I got a Philly cheesesteak. If you're watching this live, Pause it and go to the go to the state house and get a Philly cheesesteak. I wish I could say the name of the cart, but I I can't remember. But you could smell it when you get there. Oh, you could smell smells, it when you get it there. It smells so good, yeah. Yeah. Um, oh, I hear some music coming down the road. We hear what might be. Let's see. Let's see. Could be the Catamount Pipe Band all the way down there. Yeah, here's some drums Maybe. coming from that way, too. Oh. Oh, and fireworks tonight. You fireworks there? tonight. Uh, I'm, I might end up at the fireworks. Yeah. yeah. For sure. You know, you could see them from my neighborhood uh, south on Berlin Street because we're up high. You can oh, see yeah. the fireworks. That's nice. You, yeah, know? you can see them kind of from the college or something. Can you? Yeah. yeah. Probably because yeah. it's yeah. up higher. Yeah. Yeah, very exciting. Okay, we got our leader, big, our parade leader here. This is a big day for Montpelier. This is a big day. Yeah. I'm glad everyone's so stoked. This is exciting. Yep. Lots of uh, uh, red, white, and blue. Lots of red, white, and blue. The Independence Day, 4th of July, tomorrow. Celebrating our country. And I feel celebrating our state because yeah, this is uh, what it's all about. Yeah. the floats are local, local, local yeah. focused. And we're airing it all live on live, orcamedia.net. Right? This is uncut. This is beautiful. <laughs> this is live. Comcast. Public access TV. Channel 1075. 1075. 1075. And I hear very, very distinctly bagpipes now. Yeah, that's this is the beginning of the parade here. Here we are. Got some bikers coming in. They're just coming through. This would be a fun day to just bike around. It you know? would. Just see what's going on. Especially when there's no one on the street. They've got their chairs on their back, too. Okay, we can see them now. Here we go. And it looks like... Okay. We're starting out with the uh, Montpelier SSN 765. So this is uh, has been a tradition for many years uh, for the sailors of the USS Montpelier to participate in Montpelier's 4th of July activities. They are leading the way. That is exciting. Is, and, okay. um, Thank you, sailors. Thank you, sailors. Thanks, sailors. They're coming hey. through now. There we go. Um... They're waving. We just really appreciate this. Um, the the officers chauffeuring the parade also. Yeah, that's nice. Um, here we go. The Montpelier SSN 765. Thank you to these people. The SS. Hey, and it's Governor Phil Scott. Hey, hey, Phil Scott. All right. Governor Phil Scott. Here we go. Walking Governor through. Phil Scott walking through. Now, this is um, Miss Vermont Scholarship Organization. Uh oh, did I get it wrong? Yeah, that looks right. Miss Vermont. They're coming through. And Miss Teen Vermont. And this is. Oh, this is our the, wonderful Catamount Pipe Band. Catamount Pipe Band. Oh, you can hear them. <laughs> Listen to that. Look at that. Beautiful. Woo! All right. Love that. And coming up here, looks like um, this is our Montpelier City Council coming. And the mayor, Jack McCullough. Hey, it's our mayor. And that is... Um, it's Mayor Jack, Jack. McCullough, the mayor, and um, Donna Bate. 
and Lauren and Sa Sal Alfonso, who's a newer member of the of the city council, and Tim Haney as well. Oh, looks like we've got uh, Rainbow Umbrella of Central Vermont. All right, and look at—it's our friends at All Things LGBTQ on Orca Media, the Channel Seven Seventy Five. All Things LGBTQ flow. Woo! There's Keith from All Things LGBTQ. Keith. Look at his shirt. This is exciting. Whoa. Hey, I, Keith. I want that shirt. Hey, there they <laughs> That's are. That's awesome. And this is an Orca Media production. Hey, look hey. at this. Come on down for an interview. <laughs> look at that. Look at that. All Things LGBTQ on Orca Media, on Channel Orca 1075. Media. Channel 1075. Building quality. Uh, oh, this is awesome. Inclusion. Beautiful. Look at the unicorn. Beautiful. Wait for the unicorn. Guys. Hey. You won't believe your eyes. It's our buddies, <laughs> Ann and Linda, from All Things LGBTQ. Oh, look at that. Wonderful. Here. Good work. And who do we have next? Up here, it's Lieutenant Governor David Zuckerman. Um, he's a farmer. He's a father. He's a former legislator. And the current Lieutenant Governor of Vermont, David Zuckerman. There he is. He's got the uh, Progressive Party behind him. There we have the Progressive Party of Washington County. Love that. Handmade. And then who's this? This is the Vermont Filipino American Branch Club of Barry's, Barry Lions Club. Very cool. Um, and uh, this is Girl Scout Troop. 30,228 from Waterbury, Vermont. Wow. Sorry, I'm unsure of how the troop names go. Um, 21 scouts from Waterbury, kindergarten to sixth grade. Hey, guys. Good job, good job. They're awesome. And they got candy. I love it. Who doesn't love the Girl Scouts? Oh, yeah, and they, look at it. It's our congressional representative, Becca Here comes Ballant. Becca Ballant. Woohoo! And Bernie Sanders! Bernie Sanders! All in right! A, in his orange United coat. States Senator Bernie Sanders, everybody! That's awesome. That's exciting. It's always great to see Bernie. Hey, Bernie! I gotta take a picture. Oh, yeah. Hey! All right! Oh, yeah. Very exciting. The streets of Montpelier will go wild for Bernie yeah, Sanders. Yeah, I know. We're always happy today. to see Bernie. Hey, Bernie. And look at this, it's the Sheeta Projects coming in with the drums. Awesome, so cool. Sheeta Projects, let's see, what do we have? Awesome. Uh, they're a nonprofit using West African drumming, dances, and other cultural activities to spread cultural education and promote diversity and inclusiveness. Yes. You'll see them around the area. You can check it out. Awesome. Great live music. Dancing. All right. Nice Here's job, uh, M and M and T Bank. Looks like it's a new a newer bank in the area. Thank you, M and T. M and T. It looks Got like they're a little dance going with the M and T Bank too. They're throwing you can't candy. Help but dance, right? You can't help but dance when there's a new bank in town. <laughs> and um, who's next? Oh, is this is this the Vermont, Vermont Dog, Dog Eats? Eats? Okay. This is a new uh, dog treat bakery and retail store located oh. at 5 East State Street in downtown Sweet. Montpelier. look at that dog. Oh, that's funny. That's a real dog. That's a real dog. Beautiful. Look at that display. <laughs> that's awesome. Look at how he's looking off. That's great. It's good. You know, every once in a while you need to get a, a special treat for your dog, you know? Yeah. You can do that now. And, uh, right next to Bohemian Bakery, so you can get yourself oh, that's awesome. a treat, and then you can go get your dog a treat. So your dog doesn't get jealous? Yeah, yeah. That's you know how they are about treats dog might want your croissant you know but then you go get them a treat so you can't feed your dog a croissant you can come to orca media and meet our dog cricket cricket she's very friendly a little uh guard dog and uh friendly community center dog <laughs> i would love to feed cricket one of these organic we should do we should do that for cricket. treats hopefully she's watching okay who do we have next here's the kellogg hubbard library um kellogg hubbard library this is a, sta this is a staple in our town um Practically grew up there. <laughs> Mangy's right next door. I don't I love know. That they got the the book wheels. That's great. That's awesome. Very cool. These people are great. Um, public library, very important in a very, small town. Um, I'm just gonna quickly. Oh, let's see. We've got all together now. Is that right? Um. Um, oh, sorry, it just says all together now. Oh, it's yes. part of the Kellogg Hubbard Library. Oh. That's, well, think, that's sweet. 
Okay, cool. So coming in next, we have the uh, Falun Dafa Association of New England. Spiritual practice. Millions of folks around the world. All right. Very cool. They've got some drummers in the back, it sounds like. See, they're still doing the book uh, book cart dance. Those are book carts, right? Yeah. <laughs> that's that's clever, and I like that, that they're all clever. colorful. They have, they have wings. Okay, so we've got the Fulan so this is a... Defa. Association of New England. Drummers celebrate Independence Day with happy, uplifting tunes. Truthfulness, compassion, and tolerance persist worldwide. Very good. Those are cool drums. Yeah, it's awesome. Love it. Okay. Very cool, very cool. Looks like um, who's coming next lineup. here is the Mitzvah, the Mitzvah Fund. Um, the Mitzvah Fund is a 501c3 veterinary nonprofit. They provide veterinary surgery and dentistry to low income seniors, veterans, unhoused neighbors, and disabled first responders. That's so cool. Thank you. Very cool. And what a horn. I've seen them parked in front of the yeah. uh, city uh, city hall there. That's I've always awesome. been curious. Very cool. Okay, so coming in, uh, following them, we've got the League of Women Voters of Vermont. Oh, great organization! League of Women Voters is marching again. They want to remind you to that your vote is your voice, and democracy is not a spectator sport. That's awesome. These guys have been around for a long time. What? These guys have been around for a long time. Oh, yeah? Yeah. Oh, yeah. It's important. Woohoo! Great signs. It's good. I like their hats. Yeah, this, yeah. that's great. Hats are cool. Looks like um, Four Seasons Traffic Control is coming through. Um, they're traffic control for Vermont, New Hampshire, and they're That's an awesome. equal opportunity employer, bringing job opportunities to the community. Very cool. That's a tough, tough job. Oh yeah. In the summer. And I and I see them out there. Yeah, they're doing it. Rain or shine. That's a backbone. Especially when you got. Road work going on. Winter, yeah. winter just ended and stuff. That's a, that's a lot. People hold the town together at times. Good for them. Good for them. So, uh, look at this. This is the big Nazo Lab. Oh wow! So it's a creature shop, an international touring group based in Providence, Rhode Island, that began as a street theater experiment in 1986 and evolved into an interactive stage spectacle and performance art phenomenon. This is awesome. Wow! Check this out. Look at those. Holy cow! Wow! Wait till you see this. Okay, I gotta take a uh, picture for my son. Wow! Oh, that's so cool. Here we go. Oh my gosh. Oh, and they're. <laughs> That's incredible. And here they are with the Providence Drum Troop. Wow. That's unlike anything I've seen. They're good too. Whoa! He's got the hoverboard. Oh, that's so cool. He's got the hoverboard. Wow. Hey, and we got Black Bear Hockey coming in next. Oh, yeah. Hey, Black Bear Hockey. This is Central Vermont Youth Hockey. Black Bears provide fun and competitive hockey for athletes ages three and above for Central Vermont and the surrounding areas. Hey, they got candy too. That's what it's all about, right? It's all about hockey, candy. <laughs> you gotta have something to do in the winter, you know, hockey. 
they host um, several try hockey for free events throughout the year. Oh, that's awesome. So if your kid is interested in hockey. You play hockey? No. You grew up in Vermont? Yeah. Did you watch hockey? No. No? No. Oh. Never never sports. It's not, you know, that's okay. But I had some friends who played hockey, and they're very passionate about it, and I think they, uh, that's one of those sports where it'll... Yeah, you gotta... They you got, you've got companions there. <laughs> this is, um... Who's next? This is the Gary Residence. It's great. Every cloud has a... I can't read it. Hey. Oh, maybe that's... <laughs> That's uh, Maybe that's oh, that. Westby Meadows and the Gary Residence. So senior living communities. Oh yes. Strong tradition of Gary. They're right downtown. There it is. Hundred years. They've been here more than hundred years. Hundred years. And um, looks like um, oh this is the oh every cloud has a silver lining. Here's the rest of the sentence. There's Westview Meadows. Very cool. I get it. Every cloud has a silver lining. There it is. There it is, everybody. Thank you, hey, Westview guys. Meadows. And if I'm not mistaken, who's next? This is Cub Scout Pack Seven Seven Seven. Oh, cool! This showing their camping skills with a model campsite. Wow. And a fire. Look at that. That's clever. That's sweet. Very cool. That's just great. Um, looks like they're throwing candy, too. They got candy, too. Oh, I love that. That's a real tree. OK, we got uh, a big Ford truck. And so this I think sweet that's probably truck. McGee Ford of Montpelier coming in next, huh? Representing McGee Ford. Check it out. And. Uh, Check out McGee Ford. Look at that truck if you don't believe me. <laughs> Woo! Okay, then there followed, uh, we got, uh, following McGee, we have the Vermonters for Justice in Palestine with Central Vermont Jews for Palestinian Liberation. That's great. This is awesome. Beautiful banner. Handmade. Um, VTJP here works to support Palestinian people in their struggle for human rights and to uh, end the Israeli occupation through education, advocacy, and action. Amazing. Good work. And here is, um... Oh, and this Veterans for Peace. Green Mountain Veterans for Peace. Thank you. These guys are great. That's awesome. Yeah, I hear some drums. You hear the drums? Who's coming up next? It's Hannaford's Fife and Drum Corps. Okay, awesome. Based out of St. Albans, Vermont. So this is named after Captain Nathaniel Hannaford. Ma a drum major in the War of 1812. Okay, I didn't know that. That's amazing. Yeah, look at them go. Keeping it alive. Makes me feel something. It says uh, they are not related to Hannaford's grocery store. <laughs> Just so you know. Okay. <laughs> Don't get it twisted. It's awesome. That's great. And now uh, it looks like we're seeing Central Vermont Little League um, provide baseball, softball experience for kids in the area. Woohoo! This is awesome. They're on TV. <laughs> I don't know what he said. I don't know. Um, <laughs> here's uh, hey, state uh representatives. Kate McCann and Connor Casey. Former um, city councilors? Yes. Connor Casey, yeah. yes. Hey, guys. Exciting, they got a tractor. You can't have a parade in Vermont without a tractor. You know, no. uh, our lieutenant governor used to always drive his tractor. I remember that on, on the, uh, during the parade. That's sweet. It's and then here we are with uh, 
Kennedy. Kennedy. Okay. Pres uh, Kennedy for president, 2024. RFK Jr. is an uh, inspiring candidate who has, oh. <laughs> A candidate for president. Yeah. Um, Is that him? I think that's him. Yeah, I believe so. Their sign says, be curious, not judgmental. That's a great sign. Um, All right. And here hey, there is... is... Oh, that's Malloy. Okay, reclaim self-governance. So we have... I don't think we have this one on the list, but I believe this is the Vermonters for Kennedy. Okay, so that's Malloy with the Kennedy for president 2024. All right. All right, all right. Um and he's got candy. <laughs> That's important. Oh yeah. And uh coming up here looks like um Green Mountain self advocates and uh the capital advocates. Um Oh, yeah, we don't. oh, yeah. Here we go. It says, all our dreams can come true. Green Mountain self-advocates symbolize resilience. And, um... Awesome. That's great. They're awesome. Whoa, they got... Great signs. They great got signs. Santa Claus. Oh, that's Santa. That's you fun. know, it's July Santa Claus. Oh yeah, Christmas in July. And he came out. He's coming out. Hey guys. He's wearing his he's wearing his, his summer attire. That's great. Stay strong. <laughs> oh hey, you can't have a parade without the Honeybee Steel Band. Yes. Uh, oh, I've seen them here. The Honeybee Steel Band and the Swarm is an activist group focusing on protecting pollinators through uh, creative and soulful events. So it cool. looks like music and oh, it's groovy. Oh, they're great. Oh, they're coming. Go organic. You got to love the bees. We need bees. S staying alive. I love it. No bees equals no berries. Remember that. You play drums? Little drums. Yeah, yeah, you play too. little yeah, drums? Play I'm little not drums. like. Yeah. I'm nothing special. You know, it's nice to just just rock out on the drums yeah, yeah. every once in a while, you know? And they certainly are. Oh man, they're good. If I've ever heard rocking out. Now, coming up here is. Um, Looks like Onion River Outdoors, which I can. I can actually see the storefront from where we're sitting. It's on um, Langdon Street. Oh yeah, and they sell on Indian River Outdoors. Sell new and used bikes and all sorts of outdoors equipment. Super fun. Definitely a staple in the town. Lots of bikers around. Look at that old bicycle. Oh, that's so what cool. do you call those? You know what I'm talking yeah, about? What do you call those? It's got yeah. a name. Oh, that guy just high five that guy's foot. <laughs> um, that's they're coming awesome. through. They're coming back around. Here we go. Yeah, this is like custom made. There's Peter Watts. He was. He worked at my school when yeah, I was young. I recognize when I was young. some of these folks. That's a great guy. Okay, he's trying to get some high fives. This is our community. This is awesome. This is a great uh, great bike shop. You know, if you ever need some bike stuff worked on, go in there. Oh, there's a lot of them. They're lot looping. Them. Oh, that's fun. I like how they're doing a big loop. Oh, here we go. Uh, there's a performance happening now at the intersection oh, with the Honey Bee Steel Band. They're breaking it down. That is so cool. It looks like the Honey Bee Steel Band's doing some uh, some grooving. I really am having fun just looking at them. Yeah, it's awesome. That's great. And the bikers uh, are going in a circle. This is cool. They got a big loop going. Haven't seen anybody. Uh, haven't seen anything go wrong yet. Flawlessly, yeah, that's flawlessly tricky. executed. That's tricky. Just looping and looping around. I recognize some of these folks. Oh, that's wow. so cool. You think that'd be hard to ride? Yeah. Yeah? I think so. They used to have uh, critical mass bike parades back when I lived in Chicago, and they would do the double-decker. You know, you had to, like, climb up the bike to get on it. Whoa. That was pretty cool. Whoa. Like those stilts are... bike? Yeah, those are so cool. Dude, yeah, how do Look you get that. up on that? How did he get up there? Wow, he's not... He's not scared of anything. We're amazed. We, we got to interview him afterwards. 
Ask it looks like uh, who's coming next? Coming up next is looks like Vermont Mutual Insurance Company. Um, adapting to change, their float is focused on the evolution of a monarch butterfly as it adapts to changing stages of life. That's awesome. If you look at their shirts, oh, it looks like there's more coming up behind there's them. More, there's more bikers. They are. So it's kind of <laughs> They slowed down for the. Uh, for the oh, loop. Look at this, they've got another circle going in the intersection there. So cool. Very cool, very cool. There's another truck. Who do we got coming in? So yeah, you're right, this is the mutual insurance company, Vermont Mutual. They've only, uh, They've been doing this thing for 195 years wow. in Montpelier. And look at that float. Very cool. Throwing candy. Running around. Resilience. Hitting up flags. Oh, resilience, I should say, is the theme of the uh, parade today. Yes. Montpelier is alive. Uh, I believe they set a theme every year. So I didn't know that. Is, is the theme, yes. It's beautiful. Very cool. Wow. Adapting to change. Oh, hey, we got the... Um, the local baseball team coming in, hey, the Vermont Mountaineers. The Mountaineers. Love these guys. And baseball there's team. there's Skip. I heard there's a Skip, man. I heard yes. a I heard a kid yelling, it's Skip, it's Skip. Have you ever seen Skip do his uh, the rollerblades on the field? No. Yes, he's great. Skip really? he'll get pulled by the, the buggy here and he'll do some uh, rollerblade wow. tricks and stuff and yeah, Skip's got That's skills. That's awesome. Look at that buggy. That is so cool. That is cool. The Mountaineers. That's a fun summer activity. Hey, we should say that you're watching uh, the live broadcast of Montpelier Live, um, Montpelier July 3rd Independence Day Parade. On, uh, um, on orcamedia.net. Orcamedia.net and channel 1075. Hey, who's coming in next? We got the um, Mountaineers. Now we got Sarah Copeland Hannas, the v Vermont Secretary of State. Vermont Secretary of State. Um, hey, this is an important job, you know? That is an important job. It's an important job. And they're coming. Whoa, Whoa look at that little. Look Whoa, at that. Check this out. Look at okay, that luge on the ground. That's crazy. Um, that it looks wild. like that's still the. Uh, Oh, it's the Central Vermont oh, this is sled Pioneers hockey. sled okay. hockey. Wow, awesome! That looks like fun. Wow. Okay. So this is uh, the Central Vermont Pioneers are a local sled hockey team for individuals with disabilities. Pioneers recently won the Northeast Sled Hockey League Adult B Championship against competitors from Pennsylvania. Wow, good for them. Ages of all players range from 7 to 70 years old. Wow. you are all invited to follow the team on Facebook. That is so cool. Yeah, I've never heard of awesome. that, and that's super sick. Good for them. This is so cool. Wow, look at the... That's so cool. They've got awesome skills. Look at that. Yeah. Um... That's awesome. And here it is. Uh, here's their their car coming in. Fun for everyone. Come and join us. Central Vermont. CentralVermontPioneers.org. Oh, here we go. Here's all together, all together now. now. It's great. Um, you could be marching with them. Celebrating <laughs> independence and diversity of life on Earth. Love this all great. together this now. This is awesome. Look and, at that. Uh, it's just important to... Keep art flowing in the For community. Real. And when I when I was a kid, I went to their summer camps, and they would they would sit you down and get you making something cool. Look at those deer helmets. Yeah, that's so cool. That's awesome. And you know, they put on All Species Day in the spring. They yep. put on uh, Enchanted Forest yep. in, uh, around Halloween in Hubbard Park. They do cool stuff all year. Definitely important. Whoa, look at that. Community morale. Here we look go. At those puppets coming around. This is awesome. They're almost too tall for the camera. Oh, he's leaning down. There you go. <laughs> so we're getting towards the end here with the uh, Capital Community Church. Capital Community Church, passionate about studying the life of Jesus Christ and believe in the following his example and serving others. It actually, looks oh, like, no. it it actually looks like they might... Well, we got them on the list, but we don't see them tonight. But <laughs> Here's we, the Montpelier police. Here we go. However. This is the Montpelier police, I think, is uh, holding the line at the end here. 
and it looks like normal traffic is re-entering the wow. street. That was and, and 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 just as much as traffic, people flood the street. They want to talk back. to each other about the floats. Yeah, you know, this is now it's time to head to the state house, probably get something to eat. You know, what's next? This is the. It's the end. Is that, <laughs> that was fun. It was, that was great. Um, I think the fireworks are tonight. You can watch them from the state house. And I, I think there's more music also yeah. later. Yeah. Music? Okay. I, it's coming up. At least that's what I heard. Um, so we should probably just say once again, this is Orca Media Community Media Center in Montpelier, Vermont. Thank you for tuning in. Thanks for tuning in. You can come by and visit us. We're located at the uh, campus, Vermont College of Fine Arts. Come on in. Eleven to seven. We Keep. have. What do we have? Equipment for. Rent. We've got uh, equipment for rent. You Free can abuse. you can you can be on public access TV if you if you have a show. Yeah, you can make a show. Everything's free. You can be a creator. This is for the community, by the community, from the community to the community. Wow, that's that's really good. <laughs> and hey, uh, once again, I'm Christopher Viersma, uh, one of the co-hosts today, and I'm Rowan. And uh, this has been the 2023 Montpelier Independence Day Parade. Thank you, folks. Thank you. Thank you.